my name is Abby and today I'm going to be presenting about my robotic arm. My goal. My goals were to build a robotic arm, insert motors which made all the parts move in this robotic arm, connect joysticks which control the robotic arm, and control the arm so when it so I collect the ball and put it in the ramp. I actually decided to show the, how the thing works instead because collecting a ball is kind of hard. Design. The website I got my design from was, <clears throat> was thingiverse.com. Here's a link to the original project. So there it is. So this is my final project picture. And credit goes to the gizmo on thingiverse. Yeah. Here are the materials I used to build my project. I used 24 wires to, <clears throat> including the male to male and male to female wires. I used 3D printed parts, including <clears throat> the parts for the quad, which is right over here, <clears throat> and the gears. So there's actually one gear under here which controls the claw. And then, <clears throat> as well as the parts to make the move, make it move up and down. So basically, these legs over here. So this, that, the beams, and all. Okay. And then I also used these two, two, these two joysticks over here to control the arm, so up and down, left and right, with the <clears throat> and then open the claw, okay? So now, so then I also use some strong tightening knots. So these ones are supposed to tighten it very well so that these knots don't unscrew. <clears throat> and then I also use washers, as you can see over here, okay? And then I also use two MG90S servos. So there's one over here, which controls the claw, and then there's one over here, which makes the thing turn around. And then I also used two MG90 servos. So I used one over here to move it up and down. So then I also used one over here to go to advance further in. Okay. So then I also used a breadboard over here, as you can see. I also used an Arduino, which is right over here. Then I used a short 3D printed marble track and a ball. Again, that was, again I decided that a ball, collecting a ball was hard. And then I also use some screws to secure the parts together. Okay. And then I also use the battery pack over here to power my arm. Okay. Program. So over here is my program. Okay. Test. So I tested my project about five to seven times, which is not too bad compared to my others, because my others I had to test it more times. So this took about a month, which is which is around four to five classes to build with all the building and coding I did. Okay, I learned quite a bit during this project. One thing I learned was that Arduino's, which I used, was a lot similar to Raspberry Pi, except in a except in a different form. Another thing I learned is is how you can connect joysticks to. <clears throat> how you can connect joysticks and be able to control many objects just by coding. Okay. Wait, it's time to play my project. So I'm basically going to be demonstrating how the joysticks work. So this one over here, so this thing, this one over here, this one can adv make it advance in. And then when I move it, this joystick side to side, it can make it turn around like that. Okay. Now this joystick over here, and I move it up and down, it can open the claw like that. And then when I move it side to side, it <clears throat> it goes down. So basically I'm just gonna demonstrate all of them in one. So, so it turns. <clears throat> up, down, and then, and then open the claw. And that's all. And that's pretty much it. Okay, does anyone have any questions for him? Okay, uh, what was the main issue with your project? So one of the main issues I had was that, one issue I had earlier was that the claw was not opening and closing. <clears throat> Another issue I had was that uh, sometimes the wires would act, the motors and wires would overheat, so I have to keep replacing the, the motors and wires. And sometimes it actually has a mind of its own. So it kind of moves a bit. All right, good. Let's give him a round of applause.